Welcome to The Lawn Fix. If you're here to feed your lawn addiction, you've come to the right place. So we are November 3rd, and um, basically my seeding season has stopped. It's, been, it's just been a little too cold to add any more seed. So let's take a look at the lawn. It's not looking too bad. Some bare areas, but if you watch my videos, you know that I'm going to smoke everything off and kill it and start over with Bermuda in the front. So I'm not too concerned about this area. <clears throat> I have to see this area again because a lot of it died because of disease and the heat. Like I mentioned in my other video that I feel like I started a little too uh, early. So it's coming in. It all filled in. I'll show you a picture right now. But yeah, looks better, a lot better. But like I mentioned, this is the last season for this and I'm gonna kill everything off and start over. There's the vine, it's gone dormant, it's dead. Got my pumpkins. I have to remind myself often that each grass seed is not just a leaf. It's actually gonna grow into about four, three or four inches in thickness. So even though there's a lot of bare area here, come springtime, this whole area will be filled in because each seed, like I mentioned, is gonna thicken up. So that's not gonna happen in the winter. That usually happens in springtime when the grass is gonna be growing very vigorously. All right, here is the yard. It's coming in. I had to, again, uh, throw down some more seed in some of these areas that really thinned out because of erosion. We also fertilized, uh, let me see, I fertilized a week ago and the day after it just poured really bad. It just poured a lot of rain. So I can't, I don't know how much of it, you know, there was a lot of washout I would imagine. So I'm gonna fertilize in about a week, a light coat just to get nudge this area. This is the probably the only area of my yard that I'm gonna baby this year because I'm not gonna kill this off next year. I'm gonna keep the fescue in the backyard. And then I'm going to throw some pine straw in this area probably probably February uh, once the leaves fall because what's no, there's no point in putting down pine straw and then the leaves cover it. it just doesn't make sense. So anyways, it is what it is. So if you noticed, I'm looking a little sharper and a little bit, I don't know, better looking. It's because I got a new camera that I'm really excited about. So this is a short video. I just wanted to show off the camera, see the yard, and take a look at what 2020 is looking like. And I'm really excited about my front lawn Bermuda update. And I, like I mentioned in my other video, I'm gonna go with Tiff Tough Bermuda, which is a type of sod and I'm going to bring some dirt and do some leveling and some sodding and I look forward to that. But as of right now, happy Halloween, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'll see you next year.